Hey yo, what's Gucci? I'm back. Sorry for not being here for a while. I really missed you guys. I've just been a little busy with school and making some original songs for you guys. So get ready for that. I thought it would be a good idea to talk about Halloween and what I hate about Halloween, but I think it would be better to spice it up a bit. So I invited my niggas D Design and my nigga David Parody. David, give the shot. My nigga David Parody. And we're gonna talk about what we hate about Halloween. The first topic is a lack of creativity on Halloween. Buying pre-made costumes. Girls wear one of two outfits. Bunnies or cats. Or police. Or police. Do girls still do that though? That bunny ear thing? Low key bro. Last year I went to a Halloween party. Tell me how a girl's wearing a skin tight dress. She had two whiskers on her face. Not even like a whole bunch of whiskers. And then bunny ears. I'm a bunny. How are you a bunny? Like it'd be embarrassing for when someone comes up and asks me, <laughs> who am I? I'm a bunny. Are you stupid? What? Did you see the ears? The next topic I want to talk about is bullies on Halloween. I'm talking about the bullies that kick in your pumpkins, that rob your candy. People chase my group with paintball guns. <laughs> it's miserable. It's like going to houses on Christmas, fucking stepping on presents. That's basically what you're doing when you're, when you're taking these kids' candy. I watched someone get trolled on Halloween nicely and I died. Saw these goons on one side of the street. Saw this crew of like maybe four like whatever type kids. Okay. Maybe grade nines, like they're just kind of like, just, just kids, right? These goons ran full <laughs> speed at them, got them so shook, and then just stopped in front of them and just didn't do anything. What did the kids oh. do? What? Bro, they were probably they were. shitting their <laughs> pants, bro. Because like, what do you do? Do you start running or do you just like brace yourself for the impact? Like, what do you do? <laughs> I would have <laughs> want the pillowcase ready, bro. Just so wing at them. <laughs> have you ever been asked to go into someone's house? Yeah. Bro, and did you go? Listen to this story. I swear to God, this guy tried eating me alive. Oh, come here. <laughs> and this guy starts oh. trying to grab me and she's like, hey, Pilly, 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 leave him alone, leave him alone. I'm just trying to go trick or treating and I have to worry about zombies and <laughs> Indoors, too. The next topic we want to talk about is people that give whack candy away. The ones with the Halloween wrapper. Tootsie Rolls. Tootsie Rolls are whack. Rockets. Rockets, those are just as bad as no name brand plain chips. If you're gonna give me plain chips, at least give me fucking Lay's. Those caramel like cubes, those are bad. No, those are good. Those are, those are good. <laughs> Months later, after you've you know, finally taken, you've taken all the good candy to lunch every day, the scraps are always lollipops, <laughs> caramel cubes. And fucking chips. Those are like that's what you have at the end. Like that's that's just what gets left. That's the debris. What did we see in the grocery store today? Yo, popcorn twists. What is that? We don't know. We don't know. <laughs> oh, do you mean like well, what does it look like? Bro, it's a box. <laughs> it lets you use your imagination. People have given out vegetables to me. Okay. Bags of vegetables. Okay, okay, okay. First of all, that's expensive. <laughs> Thank you. <but laughs> I, I, I appreciate it, <laughs> but I'm good to be honest. I've gotten a few toothbrushes over the years. <laughs> Jeez. So that kind of, kind of makes sense. Yeah. That makes sense. It's why I could make sense. Yeah, if you work for fucking Colgate. If you go out of your way to go buy toothbrushes to give the kids, you're fucking whack. Um, why the fuck am I eating these? Yeah, I remember. One house, so well decorated too, like made you really want to go up to the door. So like, I go up to the door of this house. Old ass lady comes out. She's super nice too. I'm like, yo, I'm about to rack up on this candy. She goes back into her house. Usually when, you know, you ring the doorbell, there's something right beside the door yeah. and just right away. But yeah, she goes back into her house. I'm like, oh, let's so go, like, more. let's go. <laughs> this lady comes back with three sets of orange juice boxes and like some our lord and savior like oh, one like pamphlet God. it was like a pamphlet and a mint and a mint to top it all off three sets of those things one of the guys that i was going with he didn't have a bag every house we went to he actually <laughs> i can't bro i can't make this up bro. before we got to the next door he would just finish it no <laughs> yeah, I, I fucking hate Halloween. why are they changing the arrows <laughs> yo what are they saying <laughs> Have you guys noticed that it's getting smaller and smaller every year? Yeah! Maybe we were just smaller. See, that's what I was thinking. Maybe, bro. Honestly. Then I've been looking at the milligrams on these bad boys. <laughs> I should just be able to come to the door and you just give me candy. Hey, did you ever get these whack I'm houses where you're like trick or treat and then they say, okay, trick. That's when you say, what? You're a fucking candy. <laughs> when did you stop going trick or treating? Great time. So you're still doing it right now. <laughs> I'm the oldest one here, by the way. Yo, these chocolates are whack, B. I hate, I hate chocolate. These are garbage, man. Especially Halloween chocolate. How the time frame of when you can go trick or treating mm. is shorter and shorter mm. every year. Mm. I swear to God, I was out until one o'clock when I was little trick or treating. One? Bro, and now 
You start trick or treating when it's light outside, and you end yeah, trick or treating yeah. around seven. Eight, no, 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 eight, eight, eight. eight. What is nine? That? Is the cutoff? But one year, I got on a bus. I went, bro. What do you mean? I might as well have just had a, the map of the city. <laughs> bro, I was picking places off. Like, right, see, if I hit this neighborhood, hit this neighborhood. I got lucky one time, and this guy started giving out loonies. Wow. Because he was out of chocolate. He's like, sorry guys, I don't want to go. Fuck Halloween in general. You know what? Yo, maybe we should just give it another go. Maybe we're just <clears throat> judging it, you know? Maybe we should actually just go ham. Yeah. Me and DJ can pass. Yo, we would actually get canned. <laughs> no, you have to a beard. Yeah, a mask. Dog. No, you can't do it. Or you go and uh, Captain Phillips. Who's that? <laughs> Who's that? Last time I went out, I got judged so hard. The lady or the man that came to open the door, they were like, aren't you a little bit old for Halloween? Oh, yeah, that's judging. such Mad a judge. Judge. Yeah, I'm a little bit old for fuck yourself. On a real note, guys, Let's go fuck yourself. Go fuck <laughs> <laughs> On a real note, guys, unsubscribable. <laughs> On a real note, guys, have a yeah, yeah, what? <laughs> oh, here we go. Here we go. <laughs> That's a bad interruption. <laughs> On a real note, guys, have a happy. <laughs> <laughs> On a real note, guys, have a happy. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, that was <laughs> I know you like things. Know you. I'm not new to this. Coming from the motherfucking six side. I'm not new to this. Niggas wouldn't make it on this side. I'm not new to this. I'm not new.